Welcome to Five Games at Freddy's. This is going to be a big playthrough of all Scott Cawthon made Five Nights at Freddy's games. We're gonna play each game, play every single night, as far as I can, show off every single secret, and by the end, I'll do my best to explain the story of these games. The weird, weird story. Of course, every series has to start someplace. And so we begin with one of my all-time favorite horror games. Hey everybody, and welcome to the first Five Nights at Freddy's. I still remember when this game was new. I was about 10 years old at the time. And it was scary, I could barely look at the screen. It was such an original idea, and the sheer dread this game gave you was just unparalleled by anything else. And I still think it holds up really well to this day, no matter how good FNAF Plus ends up being when that comes out, I still think this game will have an edge. And I'm very excited to show you why, so let's get started. Help Wanted at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizzeria looking for a security guard to work the night shift. 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor cameras and ensure the safety of equipment and the animatronic characters. Now responsible for itchy slashes memorant. $120 a week to apply. Call 1-555-FAZ-FAZBEAR. Uh, I hope you accept emails or something instead. I can't exactly dial that number. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth. 
pop up in front of the mask either. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. He's awfully calm for telling us how much of a death trap we've just walked into for 120 bucks a week. Limited power! For whatever reason, this place can run out of power overnight. We cannot recharge this, and everything we use uses up more of it. So we have to conserve as much power as we can until our shift ends at 6 a.m., which we are only two hours through. And I have detected movement. Hello. Just stay right there. I'd be fine if you just stayed back there and never came. Coming back to this first game is so weird after playing all the later games where there's all these different mechanics. Here it's just doors. These huge metal doors that block them out. Where is he gone? Freaking fantastic. The blacked out cameras means they're moving. We have a light to check right outside the door. Let's be sure to use that. Now that's pretty close, that's right outside, but he's not like here, so I don't feel the need to close it just yet. The other two are still fine. He's giving me like a side glance there, you see that? If we run out of power, not only will all the lights turn out, but the doors, if closed, will open back up. It's a safety precaution. We don't want to be trapped in here, do we? In that case, we will be completely and utterly defenseless. But we gotta save it. For dire situations. Everyone else is still fine. Just gonna keep flickering this light on occasion. You want to do that when they're this close because they can move up here at any time. Just not moving, though. It's willing to stay there. I'm okay with that. Things still fine. We are halfway through the night and just under halfway down on power. That is great. You want to have 50% power or more by 3 a.m. And we have definitely cleared that goal, and then some. Uh, what was that? Okay, I think I might have just accidentally put it down myself. That was concerning, but thankfully, no need to worry. Okay, the other one has left. Inside the dining area, you're in there. Now, this guy can still walk up to the door from that room, even though it doesn't seem like he's able to. But we want to keep flickering the light over here. Yeah, I'll close that, thanks. Alright, how's everyone else doing? Just fine? Now we can flicker the light, you can see the shadow coming into the room there, that means he's still there. You're still fine. Don't use any of this stuff too much, though. The idea is to stay at one block of usage for as much as you can, but sometimes you're kind of forced not to, like this. Oh. Shined brighter, that means that he left. Good. Not completely sure where he is. Oh, back there. Well, they're all far away from now, so let's just sit and chill. Actually, take a look around this place in a little more detail. We've got some posters here. Rules for safety. Don't run, don't yell, don't scream, don't poop on the floor. Stay close to mom. Don't touch Freddy. Don't hit. Leave before dark. Don't hit what? <laughs> Thank you, management. And, uh, the bunny is coming back. Wow, he's being very aggressive. Usually he's not that aggressive on this night. Because it's the starting night, and you get, a, like, a three-minute friggin' grace period. He's all up in my face this time, though. Okay. Everything's still fine. This freaking bird has just stayed in the dining area since it moved off the stage. Never mind. It has decided to go somewhere else. 
Cameras will be disabled for the next four seconds when that happens, so you, you could just put it back down. Alright. Sounds like fun in there. I'd love to just bang around a bunch of pots and pans. Hi! Thank you for checking in on me, but I don't really need it. Um, that's concerning. Oh, yeah, because you're coming close as well. Kids vanished at a local pizzeria. Bodies not found. Two local children were unexpectedly royally lured into a back room before uh, something. And it changed. All right, I couldn't get that. All of that. Because I'm currently in a risky situation here. Okay, we're actually safe on the right side here. Well, that's it. Fortunately, Freddy and friends will stop attacking you and are free to let you leave. Are happy to let you leave. Until the second night, that is. Pirate Cove. I hear that in the very far distance. Someone's moving. Hi. Well, you look bad. I see why you're closed down. Oh, they're both moving. Yeah, uh, you get a three-minute grace period on night one. Night two, you're out of luck. They start. They can start moving immediately. So you gotta be on top of things from this point onwards. Weird newspaper about kids vanishing in a pizzeria. I wonder what pizzeria that could be. There's really only one it could be. <laughs> one that we know of in this whole universe. Oh, Bunny has moved. It's possible that he's in the dining room, because only one character can appear in the dining room at a time due to how this game works. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he is. Look at these drawings. Look at freaking Sloth Freddy up there. And, uh, that... thing, it's presumably the bunny. You get a full view of it in this camera. That is nightmare fuel. Uh, who has moved? Oh, you're just back in here. Okay, that's simple enough. Hmm. Get a sixth sense that someone's close. And I'm right. Well, let's keep an eye on Pirate Cove guy there. Make sure he doesn't step out any further. We don't want to know what happens if he gets too far out. I'd say avoid checking the keeping the camera on the west hall. There's a very specific reason why. Or at least check on Pirate Cove before clicking over to the west hall. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, you're there. And there's only one character that could be in the kitchen right now. It's the bird. Bird must like cooking. It lets eat and everything. Um. Why do I feel like... Wait, where... 
Okay, I just... I don't really know where the bird is. Still in the kitchen. Skipped right out of my door, did ya? Alright, well, I'll try to use the cameras less because I'm using more power right now. Looks like we're about to hit a three. So hopefully, hopefully we will within the next about third, 20 seconds. Usually how long it takes to run down 10%. Oh, he's gone. Awesome. So I just, I could tell he's moving back to the dining area and the pots and pans were still continuing in the kitchen. So there's only one person it could be. Only one person. I'm giving these guys freaking <laughs> human-like pronouns, but so has everyone else. Can you do? Let's go secret hunting. This game, as you probably know by now, has a lot of lore and backstory, and much of it is told through secrets. Random secrets. On the surface, your security guard working at this place. Hello. Your security guard working at this place and uh, these robots are trying to kill you. But there's more to it than that, and you find it through secrets, and more notably, rare secrets. So I'm hunting around on the cameras right now trying to find some. That newspaper clipping we saw in uh, Night 1 that replaced the rules poster in East Hall Corner, that is an example of that. You moved to the supply closet, I'm guessing. And on you, you're still there. Freddy is probably fine. Freddy is the, uh, the bear. Leading the pack. Uh, someone moved. Someone moved. Okay. Bunny's not at my door. Oh, that was a little risky checking before. It's, it's okay, though. Okay, Fox is still mostly in there. That is a fox in Pirate Cove. It was originally going to be a beaver, and also a wolf. Before, uh, Scott Coth and the creator decided to go with the fox. There are many possible animals it could be. I have not kept track of if I had, had over 50% for 3 a.m., so I don't know how good I am on power right now. I'm hoping pretty good. Yeah, Freddy's still at the stage. You're staring into my soul. Normal things, you know. Get the light. No, still fine. I don't really need to check the supply closet. I could just go between these two. Steps. So he probably moved back to the hallway. And then he moved to the corner five seconds later. You like to see it. Okay. Man, he like dashes past this door. Okay, Bird is in the kitchen again. We don't have to check anything else. Bird might not be in the kitchen anymore. Oh. Where's Bunny? I don't have enough time to check all the cameras. Okay, he's gotta be in the West Hall right now, but I hear a lot of footsteps. Uh, Freddy, what are you doing there? That's not how you take your hat off. Alright, I have no idea where either of them are, so I'm just going to keep it on you. You are poised to attack. You're in the dining area. Cool. 5 a.m., 24%. This is perfect. You want to have 15% or more... On car insurance? No. You want to have 50% or more power by 5 a.m. That's the best. If you have that much, you can survive. I think, honestly, we could probably just keep the left door closed for the rest of the night. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to open it back up. There's the bunny away from my door. And I can sense no one is nearby. So let's just wait the rest of this out. However long it may take. The fact that you don't know how long the hours have lasted is what makes part of what makes this game so tense. I love it. Someone's moving. Oh. My spine sen spiny senses are tingling and you're- Holy crap, you moved really fast. I want to disprove a freaking, uh, misconception or whatever. Disprove, I don't know. Clear up a common misconception. The bunny cannot teleport between the rooms on the left side. That is not possible. He does skip some cameras as part of his, like, predetermined move patterns, but... 
he is not, like, he skips to the West Hall for the Supply Closet, for example, but, and he can skip the, uh, West Hall or West Hall Corner for your door from the Supply Closet, but, oh god, he cannot just teleport wherever he wants. That's second night done! Man, this is easy! Only had a creepy animatronic rabbit attack my left door a couple times. This job's great! start to this night. There's already someone right outside. The bird can only attack from this room. And they chose not to. Uh, what? Okay, I think they might be changing their mind. Yeah, they're back. Okay. The bunny is not active for the first two hours of this night, which, uh, equals three minutes. Uh, you moved back. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's shot of it, though. Oh, it moved. Back into the corner. Yep. No flashes too much. Yeah, so that, that guy calling us, he gave us a lot less useful tips on this night. Playing dead as a mechanic doesn't exist. At least in this version. I don't know about the uh, console or mobile versions. Which, I feel like some people have said it, they may have added it, added that. But either way, you cannot play dead and then stall for time. That's not a thing. I mean, he does say, scratch that, Don't don't do it. He moved away. Okay, okay, yep. Alright, yeah, you just make faces at the camera for all I care. It's time I let you in on a secret. That's awesome. You are coming back down the hallway. 2am, now the bunny can move. Pretty slowly, though. Someone apparently received a present from Freddy. That's nice. Oh my god. Go away. Back in other things. Okay, hello. Not creepy at all. I'll just check the cameras while you're... We have an audience. While you're there. Still there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, yeah, okay. You're there. I don't need to see that ever again. Oh, you moved. Yeah, if they're not visible on a camera, they're either hidden inside of the dining area when, where you can only see one at a time, or they're right outside the door. So, be on your guard. Um, uh, um, um, okay, that's the problem. 
All three of them have left the stage. I thought Freddy wouldn't get active unless it got dark. You lied to me, sir. I don't, I don't need to check the lights. They're all really far away. <laughs> what am I doing checking the lights? It's a waste of power. 3 a.m. 51%. We're good. For now. Even with that little encounter we had at the start of the night. Hi, back there. I see you. Uh, chicken has moved. Probably in the kitchen. Because I don't think they're nearby. There is a uh, specific ambient track that plays in the background whenever someone gets close. I won't say what it is right now to see if you all can figure it out. But it's pretty subtle. Uh, what does that say? Five children now reported missing, suspect convicted. Five children now linked to the incident at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where a man dressed as a cartoon mascot lured them into a back room. While the suspect has been charged, the bodies themselves were never found. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has been fighting an uphill battle over, uh, since to convince families to return to the pizzeria. It's a tragedy. Holy. What? Okay. Yeah, did an animatronic murder them? You should probably freaking detain Freddy. Uh oh. They're moving. I don't know, maybe during the day, because clearly these animatronics have advanced technology. Who is actually nearby? Okay, the bird is not. More accurately, a chicken. Bunny is, though. Yep. Bunny's right there. Clearly they have a very advanced technology, so maybe they, it, during the daytime, they don't do anything, and... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm more focused on survival right now, honestly. Okay, there you are. I'm... Well... How's it going? Sorry. Sorry for that. Flashing lights. <laughs> I'll be putting the game's... Oh god! The game's flashing light warning up at the start of this video. Hope it's helpful. I'm just gonna do that. Call it good. Uh, the two glowing eyes at the back of the dining room have not moved, so I think we're good on that front. Both outside my door. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You gotta leave. You gotta go. You gotta get out of here. Come on. Don't do this. We could flip to five. We could do this. But there's a pretty low chance of that happening. Footsteps? You left. Glad about that. Where have you gone? Dining area. And the glowing eyes have disappeared, but only one character could show up at a time. You're still there. 5 a.m. That's fine. We have 16%. But I think the bunny's coming back. Sure is. Uh, are you gone? Yes, you are. Oh, uh, you're back! Okay, perfect! We don't get to have one block of usage! <laughs> um... Okay, you're not there. No, I didn't see you on the cameras. You're there. Alright. You're gone. 9%. 9%. You limit our camera usage. It's funny, because, like, if you don't use anything, you get no information. You have no idea where any of them are, how they're doing. But you have to if you want to keep your usage as low as possible. I love this game, man. Even when the scare factor goes away, which it has over, like, six years or however long it's been. Almost, actually, no, more than that. Almost ten years, right? 2014? Yeah, it's like eight years. It's been eight years. Holy crap. <laughs> Even after eight years, this game is still tense. I like it. You have not moved at all. I'm very glad about that. And I think we might run out of power right before we have to leave. Just gonna not use anything for the rest of the time. See how we do? We made it with zero percent. Thankfully, they refill the power for us every night.
Well, that's a bad sign. For us surviving the week. Also, what the heck were you doing out the there just now? The fox is peeking out of Fire Cove. You're there. But we know where the bunny is, so we don't have to worry about checking his light. Because, uh, pretty standard movement patterns have been known for a long time. The bunny comes to the left, bird comes to the right, they don't go to either side, the other side. Um, are you still there? You're still there. Come on, man. You move around really quickly. Why don't you happen to move the other way? I don't know you want to attack me and all, and this is the best strategy for you right now. If this were an asymmetrical multiplayer game, that would be the best choice right now. Thank you. Except now they're both coming. Alright, well, we know they're both coming, so we could just focus on the lights. And only check up on Foxy and Freddy. Alright. What are they doing? I wanna check. Okay, they're both just chilling in the hallways. Fi fine with me. Okay. When they get to the corners on night four and onwards, they start doing that weird stuff. Start jerking their heads, twitching around. One of their frames of animation is them staring up into the camera. It's creepy. I like it. When they make that- they make that weird noise, though, and you can actually faintly hear that noise from inside the office, so you know when they're in the corner and you know the, when they're in a dangerous room. You can't tell which one it is, but you know someone's there, and that you should check the lights. Like, the more information you know, the less you need to check the lights, thus the more power conserved. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> My mouse keeps going off the screen, which pre prevents me from turning. Heck you. Oh, uh, no. Freddy, I don't need your crap right now. Night forest when it crap hits the fan. The fan in this room. S surprisingly, none of them are showing up at the doors. I can hear them moving around, though. Where are they? 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 I don't know. I think they're in the hallways. The east hall, west hall. Now they moved since then. Alright. I'll probably just keep it at this, since we can catch them before they enter the room. So we don't really need to know where they are in the cameras. Still love to look out for thick. Um, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Slow down here, too! That looks dangerous! Alright, I heard the bird was in the kitchen for a bit. When that happens... Only animated camera in the game. Which just makes it like 10 times scarier than it would be otherwise. 3 a.m. 43%. When did it hit 3? Because that could be bad if it just now hit 3. Can you go? Oh god. Bird's coming. You can hear the bird. Bird could be there. No, no, no. You're still there. I gotta limit my cameras. Oh god. <laughs> this isn't looking good. This is not looking good. Alright. Limit the light usage. We don't need to check for them outside the door all the time. Just like, once every now and then. They're both still there. They're just gonna camp at my doors. <laughs> this is the only thing I would change about this game. Make them leave the doors after a while. Force them to leave, because their movements are all randomized. And so they could theoretically sit outside your door for the entire night. As they are doing right now. Let's go secret hunting. Freddy, stop tearing your jaw apart. Whoa! Hi! What the- how did you get there? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're gone? Wait, what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. You just darted back there. You know, I can see why people think the bunny teleports. He doesn't, but he just moves- they move around really quickly. They can move like once every five seconds. 
at at their most common. Can you please go? Can you please go? This is a horrible situation we have with power, and the bunny's on his way back. Okay, you're gone, finally. I uh, don't think I'm safe, though. Uh, okay. You guys are fine. They're both nearby. I know they're both nearby. I hear warbling. Someone's in the corner. You're in the corner. They're both poised to attack right now, so we have to check both lights. Bunny seems to attack more commonly, so I'm gonna check his light more, and then we're going to go you, and Freddy's gone now. Fantastic. Dining room? Whoa, whoa. Good thing I caught you. I don't... Yeah, we're, we're so dead. We're so dead. Look at our power. Time just does still pass when you're out of power. You get a little window of time you can survive, but it's not huge. All right. Don't check the other light that- Oh, oh, light turned off while I was checking it. That means that they, uh, leave or enter the door. Just gonna stop. Checking down near here. Great. Let's accelerate the process. Yeah! Alright. I'll sit like this and I'll see how far this gets me. They're mocking me for not having enough power. And so, the young security guard is perished on the fourth night on the job. There's us, inside the Freddy suit. What a time! Fortunately, if you die, all you have to do is restart your current night from the beginning. The nights do take a while, so it can be kind of a big punishment in some cases. But that's all. There was actually going to be a live system in this game. You can see it in the first uh, video that Scott Cawthon uploaded of the game, that there was a live system. It's unknown how this would have worked exactly. My theory is that if you, uh... If you ran out of lives, you'd have to restart from night one. Thankfully, he just decided to scrap it and made you restart from your current night. Jeez, okay, I get it. That's you. Alright, very cool. You moved elsewhere. In the kitchen, probably. You moved out of the kitchen now. They move around way too fast on night four. It's pretty hard to keep track of them, so most people just don't. We focus on these two cam cameras. Let's bring that. There's no reason to. The bird's not quite there yet. Local pizzeria said to close by year's end. After a long struggle to stay in business after the tragedy that took place there many years ago, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has announced that it will close by year's end. Despite a year-long search for a buyer, companies seem unwilling to be associated. I was reading that. Thanks. Thanks for your consideration of letting me read stuff. Alright, um... You're there. Oh, hi. Alright. Uh, did you move away immediately? No, okay. The footstep sound effect they play whenever they move is long. It has a lot of steps, so... It's hard to, it's pretty hard to tell which one, if it's, like, restarted or what. That's Freddy there in the bathroom. He can barely see his top hat in the darkness. Alright. I'm secret hunting, don't mind me. Something that's always struck me as kind of strange is the circus music that you can hear in the background right now. It just ended. 
What 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 is that? Are they playing it? Is it just coded to randomly play as the night goes on? Okay. Bird has moved back to the dining room. Bunny has not moved from the dining room since. I don't think I haven't heard him anyway. Someone's nearby. The oh, it's you. When the fox gets to this stage, uh, the same ambient track will start playing. And also, that ambient track gets louder the more characters are close to you. So close includes being in the hallways. Oh, okay, nice song. Don't think it was needed. Like, is that like what the song that the cooks listen to? While they're trying to make pizza. The ambience gets louder the more uh, characters get close to you. Yeah, you're still there. Everyone's still okay. Uh, this 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 laughter is not n fun. I I don't like it. Especially don't like it when that's involved. Can't tell if it's gotten even louder. Uh, it might have. Okay, let's start checking both lights. Actually, we don't need to check both lights, but we need to check left light. Check the light of any character you can't get a firm grasp on. We know Bird is right there in the hallway. Um, we don't know that the Bird is right there in the hallway anymore. I hear a warbling. Someone's in the corner. It's you. Gotta stay on top of things. Heard footsteps. You really don't like those set. There's someone there in the darkness. Um... Okay. Now being hidden by the bird there. This is fine. Simple loop. We've got this. You're in this closet, so of course you're poised to attack. Three AM forty eight percent. That's good. That's pretty good. We can live this. We can do this. Okay, I think the ambits did get quieter just now. Gonna keep an eye out on everything. So the fox, when he gets out of Pirate Cove, makes a sprint for your room. If he gets there and the door is open, instant death. He is not stuck. You cannot catch him at the door light and close it. So that's the real danger about him. That's why you want to keep keep an eye on him. Also, why you want to keep an eye on the lights. Oh, like so. When he knocks on the door, he's back in Pyre Cove. You're safe. Uh, where's the bird? Okay, bird's there. Money's still there. Only need to check it once. Wait a bit. A lot of this game is just waiting, because you have to wait for the night to end. That's your whole goal. Uh, people are moving. But no one's nearby, so... Except... Except a certain someone. Who doesn't actually affect the ambience. Somebody else is nearby. Also, the fact that there's a cupcake in here just staring at you the whole time kind of adds to the creepiness of the game. I bet you see why I love this game so much, because not only is it creepy, but it's also just frantic as hell. You have a lot of things to worry about. Everyone keeps moving everywhere as the nights go on. It gets even more, like, chaotic almost. It might not be that like, down outright scary. But it's intense. And a horror game being intense is good enough for me, anyway. Because to be honest, I don't get scared that much by horror games. <sighs> really. Anymore. But in games that are intense can certainly do that. I've never closed the thing that fast before. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, uh, gotta check stuff. Bunny probably moved to the closet. I think the chick, the chicken moved away. Yeah, chicken mo must have moved away. Get out of my face. 5 a.m. at 20%. We should be good. 
Good thing a certain someone hasn't laughed at us since then, since uh, the most recent time. Okay. I don't know who's near. I, I don't think the chicken's near. Bunny's near, though. Yeah, Bunny's definitely near. Got enough power this time. Mostly because I wasn't sandwiched by them on either side for, like, a good hour. I don't know where the chicken is. It's possible- oh, no, chicken's in the kitchen. You can faintly hear the pots and pans in the kitchen from the office, just like you can faintly hear the warbling. So use that to your advantage. Audio plays a surprisingly big role in this game. You can decipher a lot of information just from audio cues alone. And then you can, you can in turn, like, not check a light or not bother checking this other thing. To save power. Not that I'm doing the best job of that. But it's something, you know. That is something I plan to do throughout the series as well. Give general gameplay tips for all of these games. Stuff that'll really help you wi uh, win them. This loop of, like, checking the light, opening up the camera, switching between the camera with the fox, and wherever Freddy is, is probably your best bet. Man, they were starting to crowd around me at the end there. This strategy should carry you all the way through Night 5. Well, uh, I guess we found out what happened to Phone Guy. I'm not getting, saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. That newspaper there, I, uh, left it completely silent. I'm gonna read what it says right now. Local pizzeria threatened with shutdown over sanitation. Local pizzeria Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has been threatened again with shutdown by the health department over reports of foul odor coming from the much-loved animal mascots. Police were contacted when parents reportedly noticed what appeared to be blood and mucus around the eyes and mouths of the mascots. One parent likened them to reanimated carcasses. I can hear the bird in the kitchen, so naturally I only have to check the left light. I think the general idea on these later nights is keep your usage at 2 or 1 as much as you can. I don't know if you can win the whole night with 2 usage constantly. I don't think you can, so definitely try to keep it at 1 as much as you can. Chicken's still in the kitchen. As the nights go on, your power does drain ever so slightly faster. So... Oh my god. You came there really fast. Still in the kitchen, I can hear. Still outside my door, I can see. How after all these five days have we not cleaned up this desk? Seriously. Did you left? Yep, you did. Trust me, I saw him in the cameras. I honestly wish you could click some of these other noses in the drawings, like the freaking sloth Freddy's nose. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> They're all in on it. Someone's nearby. The oh my god! I was just on that camera, dude! <laughs> Did you move again? Okay, where's Chicken? Right there, and, uh, Freddy has moved. Unfortunately. Still not really sure what Freddy's gonna do. We're still not really sure. He got to the East Hall last time. That's the certain someone who was chilling there in the background, barely visible. 
Freddy tends to hide a lot more on the cameras, and I really like that. It makes him a little harder to spot. Unless, you know, his eyes glow like that. I think the chicken just went into the kitchen and came back out. Uh, power could be a problem here. Oh, dear god. Gonna limit my camera usage a little more. Alright. I don't know where they are, I just know someone's near. Okay, you're near. When the bunny enters the hallway, he is unable to leave them until he has attacked your door. Which is good to know. Good thing I caught you. Oh, good thing I caught you. Wow, that could have been bad. All right. Uh, you left immediately, and so did you. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, Freddy's in here now. You want to keep uh, keep an eye on Freddy's what, whatever camera Freddy is in. That slows him down a lot. It kind of works similarly to the fox in that way in Pirate Cove. Whereas the Markiplier's name for him was Pirate Cove Man. No one's nearby anymore. I just heard it stop. And now someone's nearby again. But hey, at least I know no one will be at the doors for the next, like, ten seconds. Alright, it's Bunny. Bunny's nearby. I'll just keep blinking that. Oh god, I keep thinking Freddy's in the... Oh, Jesus. Keep thinking Freddy's in the dining room, but he's not... Okay, that's the same article we read before. So five children reported missing. Animatronics smell bad. Yeah, they look like they smell bad. And according to the phone guy, they never had a bath for 20 years. You'd think that you would have to clean them. I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> what it's like to run a pizzeria. I am doing terribly on power, and I just realized this now. We might not survive. <laughs> it's fine. It means more time for secret hunting. Oh my god. Okay, so... You hear this music in the kitchen? That means Freddy is inside there. It's getting close, sir. Good thing I checked, checked that light. I almost didn't. The keep... Clicking over to his current camera. That's all I can spare right now. 4 a.m. There is a vague chance I could still do this. If I could pull a rabbit out of a hat here. But the bunny is already outside of Freddy's hat, so I don't think that's going to happen. Come on now. Chicken's in there as well. We need to check the left light. If I just save as much as I can, slow down a little here, save as much as I can, I might be able to do this. Okay, chicken could be here by now, so let me check. Can't tell, like, who's nearby without checking. Okay, chicken's nearby as well. You're there. Good to know. I get you. Uh, Freddy has stopped his song, but he is still in there. Until further notice. We don't have 50% or more on car insurance. Not sponsored by Geico. I don't know if you, like, have to say that for... to not be sued or anything. I, I don't know how sponsorships work. Uh-oh. Everyone's around. Everyone's nearby, including Freddy. The fox is thankfully staying slow up there. I want to invert those because I think watching Freddy's camera is a better idea. Let's do. Let's do that. Uh oh. Ne never mind. Okay. I guess I must have heard the chicken come down because I. Thought I heard the uh, ambience grow louder. Meaning, the fox was starting to be on his way. I think I might just stop here. 
If the door closed, I'll actually open it if he leaves, but... Yeah. Let's we'll see. You can, you can almost feel them staring at you. And now you can literally see it. Can't boop his nose, unfortunately. What do you know? And even <laughs> even when he's basically confronting you, Freddy is more than happy to let you go at 6 a.m. Good job, sport! See you next week! Pay to the order of Mike Schmidt, $120. Valued employee at Fazbear Entertainment. The end. Was it worth it? No. I deserve more than $120 for surviving that. And that's exactly what we're going to get, because that Night 5 is not the final one. It's a good stopping point for now, though. Next time on Five Nights at Freddy's, we go in for a sixth night. Let's see how freaking crazy they are then. Thank you all for watching if you did, and as always, I will see you all in the future.